Oh, aloha guys, it's uh, Gabe at uh, Hydrum Flyer. I know it's been a long time and I um, apologize for that. But anyway, um, today I'm going to have a quick tip for you for those who um, are planning to buy new props or your, plan or your AR drone just crashed or it's been a while and you started noticing that either the drone started acting funny when you replaced it with the new props, especially in the, um, the ones you got, you know, um, in the plastic bags and um, it, you know, um, it's acting weird and it's not performing as well as you had it when you came out of the box. Um, this is one of the explanations I got from the um, AR Drone Flyers forums. Um, so what I did here is I put two opposite, um, two opposite propellers, A and C, together back to back. Um, go ahead and stick a shaft, one of your prop shafts, through the middle. And then what I'm going to show you here is first this one and you notice the propellers are kinda close together and that's decent um, I'll take it but I'm gonna get really picky about that but what happens is is if uh, over time and in your plastic one now look at this one look how wide apart that are now, now I don't know physics or whatever I don't know if I think it's not pitch I know that's not pitch that would be this angle I think it's the way this thing is angled it's supposed to be flat but now it's, you can see it's bending down so that causes the uh, uh, performance issues with the drone and see how wide that is so I'm gonna have a real quick trick to uh, fix that and your drone um, will be working properly again at least with this fix um, as for the pitch part um, you can go to AR drone flyers I know there's a fix for that and uh, but for now we're gonna deal with this issue right here which is a big problem um, and causes and causes yeah lots and lots of problems okay so here we go um, the only thing you're gonna need is a uh, a decent mug, taller mug, um, some painter's tape or a tape of your choice, and water and a microwave, hot water. All right, okay, so we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, as you can see here, I have already done the taping. I mean, I don't need to explain taping to you. Uh, we already have this is the before, look how badly that is. So, what we did is you took some painter's tape and you just pretty much taped the blades together. You see on the other side, pretty decent. See how beautifully flat that is. I mean, well, for me, it's almost impossible to get those thing, those two flush. But look how flat that's supposed to be, and that is what the uh, propellers are supposed to be at. Uh, not not looking nasty uh, like that over there. Yeah, have a band aid. Um, I forgot to mention if you don't have if you don't have a you can use your stock prop shaft, but if you're scared to use your stock prop shaft for some whatever reason, use a toothpick that can fit through there and you'll be okay. Also, I did this other side. We taped it up, and uh, we're ready for the next step, which is the hot water uh, treatment. Okay, I got my tall mug here or a plastic cup that you could use. As you can see, I f what you do is you put the uh, propeller in first, obviously, then fill up the mug till right about this first shaft here. That way you can cover the entire propeller. You don't want to cover the shaft parts. I mean, that's not necessary. And then um, once you've done that, just take your propeller out. Um, if you're one of those folks that has really nice hot running water straight off the tap, I suggest having um, at least it steaming. Or if not, you can put it in the microwave for about a minute or two. It doesn't have to be too hot, not scalding, not boiling. Just hot enough steaming so where the plastic itself will start forming um, as you dip it in. So once you're done microwaving it, obviously put it back. Let it sit there for about 10 minutes or so. Um, and then flip it over and do the other side. Uh, you can repeat as you feel necessary. And then when we're done, we'll move on to the final step. All right, so after you've dipped it a few times and you, um, and you think you're good, just stick it in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes and more longer, it doesn't matter. Um, and your, um, that'll give the plastic a little time to harden. I already have one here. And I'm going to already peel the tape off of mine, excuse me. And already is when the tape came off. Look how perfectly flat that is. Perfectly flat, beautiful and skinny. You know, it's not wide and separate like uh, how we saw it earlier in the video. And already just by seeing that, I mean, that should already convince you. This should just go ahead and take your props off. And there, you just do this to your, even to your stock props, just in case. But definitely something you need to do when you pick up the um, 
when you pick up the uh, ones from Brookstone um, in the plastic bag, um, I find that you'll be pretty shocked how crazy those things are bent out. But um, yeah, there's those, and um, I'm going to show you real fast. These are the props I've had on my drone for, um, for about two months now. I bought these at Brookstone on June, and these are really, really bad. And as you can see, they're still perfectly flat. Um, so these are still brand new. I did the I did the dip trick, and then um, so they stayed that way. So yep, it works. And uh, give it a shot. Let me know how it goes in the comments, and uh, uh, keep them flying. All right, talk to you later.